Hi community, my name is Gazella and I'm part of the Formula team. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own appointment form and app. And also please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. So first we are going to open our dashboard. And from there we're going to create a new folder. You can name it however you would like. So here, for example, I'm going to use appointment and you can choose a color. Then you click on create. From there on, you can click on the folder and here you have all your formulas. So there's none yet, but you can click on formulas and go to all templates. And here you have all sorts of different themes. And we're going to choose health and wellness for this one. And here are all the templates that you can use and edit them. So today we're going to use this one, for example, so you can click on edit this template. And here you have all the fields. You can change them, you can rename them. And that's all the, the fields that you can use. And we're going to go on design. And here we have multi-step, single step and widget. Today this one is a single step. Here you have all of the options that you can uh, choose from. Here are the colors that you can use for the form. So you have text color, you have field border color, all of them. And you have default themes. So if you click on one color, the other text and borders and backgrounds will change automatically depending on the color that you choose. And if we go a bit down, here you can change the form background image. So we're going to use a different one today. Click on your image, upload. And here it is. And to see how it will look like, you have to save first and then you wait for it to be done saving. Okay, and now you can go on to view mode. So this is the little eye icon. And here is your image. You're gonna go back to your editor's page. And say we want to remove a field, so you can click on it and click here. Yes, I'm sure. And done. If you want to change the title of one field, you can write your new title. So we're going to use this for example. And let's say that you want to add a field. So you're going to click on add field. And here we're going to use a drop down field for example you can name it however you'd like and I'm gonna use status so here you can make this field admin only which means that the form will be not shown to uh, clients but only for yourself I'm gonna use option one option three option four you can name it however you would like uh, this is just as an example so here you're gonna save again to see how it looks like and we're gonna go on view mode. So just refresh the page. And as we scroll down, you can see that we do not see the status field that was added. So as you can see, um, a lot of the fields have a required answer, but you can change the option to not required by just clicking here. You see that it is not required anymore. So we're going to save it and we're gonna see here And here, it is not a required field anymore. And we are going to test it. Email, hello test. Submit, and submit it successfully, perfect. So from now on, we can start creating our app using the form that we just created. So you can go back to your dashboard you can drag the appointment form that we just created into your folder, and here it is. If you double click, you can view it again. You can also edit it, and if you click it just once, it will open the app mode. And from here on, you have results and charts. Here is the form that we just submitted as a test. And we're gonna click on edit app, and from here you can see total visits, daily submits, and we're going to create a new menu so you can add menu. You can name it whatever you would like. We are going to add a new page. So let's create a new block. The title, you can choose whichever title you would like. 
From the table, you can choose the form that we just created. So it's called patient information copy. You can show the data of your form. So you can create a table, for example. So here you have your, your table. We're gonna add a new page again, a block, title, you can name it however you'd like. So let's say status as the added field that was admin only that we created on the form. And here we're gonna click on show data. Um, this time we're gonna use a board. And the view is gonna be Kanban. Columns, group, by, you can choose which Whatever you would like we're gonna use status this time title of card uh, again choose whichever you like you can add an image to your card if you would like and the fields to display on card so here you can choose however many you would like and we're gonna make it editable and save it and now you have all of your cards so this is the one that we submitted before and as there are more submitted forms you will see more cards. You can choose the color of your menu and we're gonna create another page again. Title, name it however you like. So let's say form appointment. Again, patient information copy and this time we're gonna use show form and all fields of form. So here you have your form that you can view. And we're gonna choose another color and here we go. And perfect, so once you're done, click done. And here you have your app. You have the results, the charts, the appointments, status appointments, form appointments, and you can continue uh, adding new menus, new pages, uh, new forms if you would like, and that is all. So yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and let us know what other tutorials you'd like to see from us. Have a nice day.